Okay, welcome to Prawa Radio on the program Tax and Finance Matters. We are here again to talk about the finance matters in Nigeria. We have been having a series on the problems that uh, public sector accounting is facing in the country. And in the last episode, we talked about the reason why those problems have been lingering and they continue to linger as if they will not stop. But today we'll be preferring solution. What are the possible solutions to these problems? Problems of knowledge gap, problems of uh, lack of instruments to work, even when the constitution and the manuals and the guidelines are there. And I still have with me Dr. Yahaya Sule, fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria and a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Bankers of Nigeria, managing partner, Yahaya Sule and Co. You're welcome, doctor. Thank you for the opportunity to discuss with us and the public what we have observed. And um, these problems have been there and they are known. And my worry is that why people I think should push this problem more than I do uh, are not actually pushing them. And very quick to the solution is that what, are, what have I achieved in trying to push this? The system is against it. You know there's a difference between the people and the system. Once the system does not accept something, they accept a thing, that thing will be thrown out. That is what the free matter has said that no matter how committed, how good you are, if there's no management, top management committed, commitment to what you are doing. Political they, will. That is what they call political will in the public sector. Mm-hmm. In the corporate sector, they will say when the top management, there's no um, sincere commitment to objectives. Maybe you want to do customer service, you want, if there's no, the best, the best person within the system can do, if it's not in the top management, it's mediocrity. Mm-hmm. He cannot really do anything. I think one of the reasons the problems are lagging. And the good thing is that if you look at the structure of the Nigeria system, all these problems were not supposed to come at all because the system is so designed. But implementation and commitment Mm. by these people, particularly when you talk of finance, in terms of regulation, you will see that government is so structured that there are certain agencies, not people, that should regulate and ensure that the systems are running efficiently and credible financial reports result at the end of the day. But what is happening by this omission of bank statement that is not in the system for use? Central bank is there, banking the federal government fund in terms of collection and uh, payments. But the question is that why, if there are regulations, I say they must give bank statement on a monthly basis, free of charge to all their clients. If you say, if such a regulation is secular is there, they should show a good example so that the banks will follow. They are not giving to MDAs. Mm. Then another thing that marvels me is how can there be an accountant general in the office of accountant general and many, many professionals there and they are preparing financials and reports are coming. There is no verification of these reports with the use of third party confirmatory document like the bank statement. Why? And the guidelines, the financial guidelines are there. You, you know, the financial regulatory bodies are if, there. If you go to the constitution where he stated the responsibility, duties and responsibility of the auditor general, accountant general, all these things are there. They should prepare seamless and credible for reports. They should ensure everything, they are stated there. If you go there, you will see it. And the Auditor General, same thing, who reviews as by the question is the external auditor to federal government, even though they use, uh, because of capacity, they use consultants. That is uh, qualified people who they are pre-qualified. And who every year before the person is qualified to do this, he must do a pre-qualification test again for renewal of his uh, contract. contract. Not contract per se. Renewal to be available to do the job if he is to be employed. Without that, 
you are not qualified to do. All these things are there. And this, the thing is about attitude. It's about mindset. Okay, so what is the solution? We are talking about the solution. The solution... The, we know these gaps are existing. Yeah. How, what do we do? What is the way forward? How can we help public sector accounting to be transparent, to be accountable, that stewardship uh, concept in accounting, and also to achieve effectiveness in the implementation of the financial guidelines? I think uh, to any accountant, if you see this system and they state this problem, the solutions will be there for you. The big problem is about the people in the high places to show commitment. And this commitment is that some of all these things we have mentioned, which are the problems, they should try to identify them, verify that they exist, and um, also validate them. For the leadership to accept and that these problems are there. Is, is, first of all, they should accept. Yes. When they, leadership must accept that these problems should, are there. Not just accept, they should look at to confirm that these problems are validate. there. They validate that the problems, the are, problems there. are there. And uh, that is the beginning of the solution. Mm. And the solutions are uh, once you have verified that these problems are there, the thing is that you have to profile solution. If we say incomplete record, we know what to do for incomplete record. They, they, they say that a problem known is half solved. It's half solved. <laughs> you, you know, when you know that you have a challenge and you accept that oh, there is a challenge, then you're on the pathway to solution. Yeah, they, they also have to, just as I said, always take it as important because even this thing get to the National Assembly and they do all sort of uh, work, run around, buy cars to say because why we are buying the cars we are traveling to places i don't know why financial discipline i and don't know why wrong. i don't know why they should emphasize spending so much money for few people instead of spending the money that is available but misused to repair the road so that any vehicle can move on the road so what happens to the other workers one person cannot finish it's a teamwork they should consider others and we should consider this country very importantly and uh, I think if I, the, the other solutions, they are technical so, because... So, Doctor, it's about eliminating that selfish will yes. in leadership. When you assume a position of leadership in the public sector, you know that you are there for the masses, yes. for the people, and not to enrich your pockets. Yes. And uh, I think uh, the, again, government all should engage like... In the revenue sector, mm. there's a lot of problems there. And we don't talk of all these problems. If you have, if you want to solve, you must go to the feed to identify them. And I've been to the feed and I've identified some. Taxes. Or, uh, like like taxes, like you see. Incomplete record. Mm. And also, um, uh, overriding instruction against policies, against procedures, against theories. As long as it's coming from you, just take it and put it there. Mm. If you go against it, it will throw you out of the system. All these are things we should consider. They are just behavioral problems. Not that I believe I discuss with, I school with people, I discuss with people, I, they know. But the thing is that they don't no know that. No challenge attitude. Not, yes, no challenge attitude. The thing is that it's a mindset. For this time, the people will be, for me, I have said I don't want to leave this country. They think that they will leave or probably they, they will have to join them so that they get the money. When they get the money, they fly. When they get the money, they get big cars and the roads will not disturb them. But they are forgotten that there is something you cannot miss. You see them going with security that is supposed to secure everybody. Absolutely. One person is going with more than one. Absolutely. You see, these are the issues. When they join them, they are able to do all this and feel safe. And actually, they are not safe. Because the society is not safe. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. And I like that word. Prawa seeks a humane and secure environment where everybody is safe. Everybody, not just the people at the top. We are security. Security is meant, safety and security is meant for everybody. Development. And that is why we are anchoring this program. That if we are able to provide solutions to the to the gaps in the financial sector. And in the public sector accounting, we will be able to get a humane and secure environment. Thank you for listening to this episode.
on Prawa Radio. Watch out for another episode, episode next week. Thank you, Dr. Yaya. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs>